stage four, but their hard point has always been on point. So you have to rely on it again today. Well, let's get it going. Everyone ready to go. And well, the stadium could not be more full on this Thursday. So here we go. Rio hard point to kick us off. Optic looking to start off on the right foot. Whereas for LAG trying to keep that land magic Optic alive. You see the LAG records. We've done this setup. Now we're just up. about performing. Rocket here we go. We got Optic. We got LAG. Let's get it on. Already off the rip, LAG showing a lot of presence through top mid. But the routes being hit out of Optic are going to lead to clean three, make it four dead. The Predator is able to find three, and that's a perfect start for Optic. Absolutely beautiful stuff for Optic. Rotations and holds have been their biggest key towards success. Opposite is true, though, for LAG. Their break percentages have been great. Not a great start here, though. The SMGs lighting things up. Shots you off to a perfect 3 no start. Fucking, you just can't yeah, rely I'm telling on you, bro. breaking in hard points to find They're success. Pissed, you need to win a couple rotations, find a little bit of success in those hold percentages as well. Now with only 20 seconds left here at P1, if you are off to Texas, you want to apply all this pressure towards the bottom side of Eskies because you have those guaranteed spawns for P2. <laughs> but Shotzi, 5-0 and start already looking for a first life cruise missile how big that could be for optic just to Ooh. get off the races but a stun locks the point as finds the needed confirming trade now it's on to lag trying to push themselves to the middle of the map spawns are still in for now for optic but it's being threatened and this is where that number one break percentage needs to come in if you are the gorillas you're showing presence through the front you have asked you're trying to set up a pinch but optic are covering all their bases still 45 seconds to fight for shots he's sitting at six and one eventually is going to get traded by estriel so a little bit of a break here for the gorillas but for how long yeah here we go okay three for one the exchange lag able to get into the hard point for some much needed time fame also cooking up a little bit on three in a row kenny though first one into the hard point and kenny's gonna find two flames last one left alive fighting for whatever he can but he will be taken down to the last 20 seconds Look Good for the green wall. Yeah, four for two trade. You would take that for the final 20 seconds. Now the gorillas have to set up early on at this P3, which tends to be a money hill on Rio. But you saw their whole percentage before, sitting at 11th overall. The setup needs to be clean. And that's you already finding a couple kills off this rotation. <laughs> is now going to spawn those gorillas players out. Huge lead for Optic and numbers. Starting to put a bit of a threat towards the backside of the new hard point. And fame is fueling the pressure. Backing all the way up. Estriel also just trying to throw shoulders to see where this Optic hit is coming from. But LAG may not actually know how many players are coming around the back. So it is all on to fame who only gets one. That should provide some sort of a block towards the spawns. But Shotzi gets dealt with and LAG will stabilize. Yeah, but now it's Fred's turn, who snuck behind enemy lines, just trying to find the timing for his teammates to at least approach up towards this hill before he decides to strike. Now it's time to go. He finds the first, finds the second. This is the opportunity for Optic to find a break. All the criticisms towards Fred being maybe a little bit too slow, already being counteracted here in map number one. But LAG have done some damage through this thrust hill, able to get this thing back to within their own grips. But as the scrap time battle comes out, Optic still not wanting to give any of this last 20 seconds away. And that final kill will secure the scrap for Optic. Yeah, you're going to fight for all this time here because you're at least spawning on the preferred side for that P4. Gonna be late off the rotations. No cruise misses to work with as well, but it's still a 40 point lead. So you have a little bit of time to work with, and a shot. See, route is currently being hit. It's gonna turn into a one on one fight between him and Fame. Just trying to get the better of him to open up that gunfight. And this is all Fame's responsibility. He knows it. Just playing in a bit of a corner. Shotzi doing his diligence, trying to clear things out. But from the front, LAG win every single gunfight. So the first 20 seconds, going to be free. And Shotzi still waiting for this next hit to develop. And LAG are doing a great job from the front. It's because you need this push to count. You need this break opportunity to be here for Optic. So if you are shot, so you got to take your time. You got to make this play. But the corner switch up right there from Fame too strong. Check That's been 30 well. uncontested seconds from the Gorillas so far. They're keeping themselves into this game. All right, this has been a lockdown hard point for LAG. Good work from the front. Beautiful work shutting down the pinch through boxes. The only thing to find kills right now is that Shrill's teammate. And Fame's able to still step on him, get himself into the picture, only finding one of the needed two. But this has essentially been a full 60 for LAG. A huge bounce back for the Gorillas. Yeah, they cannot allow that to happen. Go one by one, relying on one player to make an individual play to lead to a break. It's just not going to be successful, but LA Gorillas, they are able to take the lead for a little bit. They already find a couple players off the rotation, but when Fame falls, Optic Texas should be fully set up at P5. Now it's just down to how LAG want to make their way across the map. A lot of focus to play through boxes. Shotzi, the next one up in line. A couple of members for Optic still spawning on the close side. So LAG with their spawns over towards the right, going to try to split, hit this in well. They're not finding success on any front. We're tied at 100, but Optic will retake the lead. Yeah, and they have all map control. You see two SMG players dominating through top mid. 
Yeah, Dashi not even peeking on the HP and Kenny watching over him and Shotzi is just getting it done. He finds a double, Dashi finds a third, and every time they are finding these kills, it's just slowing down the approach from the Gorillas. Yeah, Shotzi heating up again after a really solid start, now on four in a row. Off spawn situation, LAG gonna use that as kind of a natural pinch setup. It does take Optic off the hard point for now. Diamond Con on two. Fred, Shotzi just trying to hold their ground as long as humanly possible. Shotzi eventually traded out, and LAG a chance to start to fight for some of this crap time. Yeah, and that's great plays right there from the Gorillas again. Blessed with that back spawn with the aggression coming out of Shotzi. Pushed down towards top Eski. So Diamond Con finds that double. Doesn't give up all this time to Optic Texas. Still a 20-point game, but the Gorillas are fully set up now at P1. But the gunfight's in favor of Optic. They have the numbers. This is where those SMGs need to start to come to life here for LAG and Fame. Right as soon as the conversation point comes to life, he also oh. does the same. How about it from play? Now three in a row. Dashy trying to get some control over towards Eskies, but really has to wait for the rest of the SMG line to get here. Just got to take your time, man. Use your stun DNA to try to open up with one kill, but just going to fly on in. Fame still playing that tight corner. Now finds himself on the road. So what we're doing early on lead change hell? is now going to be right back in favor of the Gorillas. Oh, the on the swan for that P2. A couple players also working on streaks. It's just these little off timings for LAG finding these mini pinches, keeping Optic completely stuck behind these staircases. And now the full focus from the front starts to come through. Fame able to earn himself a cruise. Estriel also cooking on two in a row. Kenny, the next one left in line as LAG trying to push through and clip the spawns for new. Yeah, they got to get there quick though because they know Optic Texas is still going to have those back spawns. You want to try to isolate that one player still playing around that new HP. They're just playing for those exit kills. It's now Fame on seven in a row. Starting to turn up with that SMG in hand, trying to make it eight. Great shots on the shot. C9 is going to hit that goal button. Cannot find that kill on to Pred. So Optic Texas with the numbers should be able to put themselves in the HP. Bit of a regain. Flame still trying to lock down the middle of the map. Fave also feeling that this is a good time for the cruise missiles, but he calls it in early. Optic find the kill as they try to rotate away from the hard point. But LAG turn up with a couple. Little team kill though off the cruise missile essentially mitigates all the pressure that LAG were starting to amass. Now Optic still with the spawns and Kenny holding on to the hard point. He had 30 seconds to fight. Yeah, that's a mistake right there if you are fame. You don't want to go for that team kill. I'm going to play that far this pushed up, but now you have Estrio to make up for it. The beautiful pitch play to find a double. It's not going to really lead to a lot of time, so Optic Texas should be able to take the lead right on back. But if you are the Gorillas, this P3 setup needs to be a lot better. See if they can make it a bit messy for Optic. Try to rotate through the middle of the map, but Shotzi's first kill gets it already top mid and beyond. LAG fighting for the exit kills over the top of P2, but Keep an eye on what Shotzi wants. Timing-wise here, oh, he gets the 1v1 versus Fame, but doesn't come away with it, so LAG will get the early time at new. And now if you are Optic Texas, you're applying pressure through the backside. You already have players in Kenny working his way over towards Bridge. You just have to trade out effectively on the DC. They cannot find that kill, and that leads to three dead. Shotzi trying to make a miracle happen. Thought he got the kill, pulls out the trophy, but that's a clean four dead. The Gorilla's still holding. And the patterns are starting to move a little bit. We had a lot of focus on what the SMG battle is going to look like, but keep your eye on the ARs, because right now, Diamond on a bit of a heat up, whereas Kenny and Dashy a little bit slower than we'd normally expect to see them in the hard points. 25 seconds to fight for, Faith up and in, trying to take care of Kenny, the last one left inside the hard point. Kenny's able to take down two, and then a team kill comes out, and leaves a 1v1, which DC is able to take out of control. Optics still looking to go quickly, though, with these last two players. Dashy, the first one, and Shotzi right behind. But the most important gunfight is going to be off the rotation. Kenny in a two-on-one for that P4 battle. Is going to get isolated, but he doesn't know how many people are here. Going to be from the Gorillas. Estrue is going to be here with that AR. He's only able to take down one. So Optic have the numbers they need this time. Big 50-50 battle. Fame able to go one for one. Fred still inside the hard point. Flames trying to hunt it down, but again, it just appears... It's a fucking mixy match, bro. Estrue wants the challenge, but has to be held back as Dashy and the rest of Optic Texas start to reinforce from garage side. A chance to get some trophies down and try to really establish some control of the hard point. Yeah, 40 seconds still to fight for here at P4. This is not going to be easy for the Gorillas to work their way on it, but you have players working around that middle of the map, and then they've been their way through that front end for an easy break for, from LAG. So now if you are Optic, with only 30 seconds left, you have to contest it. You can't give up all the time. All time and con trying to do what he can. Playing his life out as long as humanly possible, waiting for maybe a little bit of a death from Fame, but it's not gonna happen. Optic picked up every single individual kill. Scrap time goes their way, and so also will the lead. And now with 20 seconds left hills to fight for at that old HP, all of the gorillas are gonna hit that rotation. So you're gonna put yourself in enough time to set yourself up properly at this P5 HP. Another lead changes abound. Optic Texas currently up by two points, but just it's just three seconds. Game. And we still have about a 50 50 just battle. Just did three here. seconds like that? Dynacon do what he can to keep his pressure what up top of the we're leaving three seconds, bro. Lose my fucking one or two seconds. Here we go. Optic Texas. One or two seconds, bro. Watch, bro. Listen in. 
Making the little mistakes, convert rounds, find yourself a duck. And it's not going to be easier because you're playing high rise, which is their least successful search to destroy all in the season and with an overall four and seven record. But if you are out in Texas, those battles for those first bloods and these playmakers need to continue to make plays. Shotzi already covering a lot of ground over at this A site. And you got to keep an eye on this LAG breakoff because they are cheeky, trying to run a little bit of weirdness here and there, which has led to a lot of very surprising first bloods. But Shotzi's position wouldn't expect. So you want to talk about Cheeky. Here we are. Flames little hop up over towards a windows. I don't know if Shotzi had seen it though. And so now he just sneaks in over towards the backside hut and he is behind all the defense. Yeah, he's behind all the defense, but it's Estriel who finds that first blood. Shotzi instantly there for the response. So now if you're on the gorillas, you have a defensive setup, but you had to back up for Shotzi. Thankfully, Estriel in the right position to find the second. It's now a 1v3 for Pred. Yeah, Pred trying to pick up the baton from when Shotzi dropped it over towards the a windows. Not going to work oh, out in LAG off the first one again not good at just finding it but even better at converting they find that success right here in round one yeah now it's out to texas trying to fill it out you know three to one split relying on shotzi to give them all the info at that a site they were just hoping that estriel wasn't dominating over towards b street he finds that first blood even though shotzi finds the trade he backs up to find that second it's a great place from the gorillas who are phenomenal on the defensive side on high rise they secure the first come on optic and I think the thing about this here for Optic, after, like you mentioned, a lot of reps on this map, just not a lot of success, is what do you put together as your default setup? Do you have an answer for LAG? Early smoke, throwing it towards mid. That's going to cause some question marks here for LAG, as they're going to make sure no one's pushed up in towards this front side pit staircase. And I don't know if that was the Gorillas who called in that smoke, that because was that was a consistent play from them. But Shotzi does invest that, so they don't have any info of any of the players that cross over towards this A site. So Shotzi sitting at top heli, just waiting for his teammates to give him a call because at the same time you have Fred watching across from Propane. And this really was just LAG completely frozen by the smoke, but now as they try to wrap back over towards the B site, this is where the optic defense is going to get pressure. A lot of the focus over towards the bottom side of it. Dashi gets the trophy system down. Tag someone will come in through the wall. Fame nearly able to take him through, but that's enough for Shotzi to pop up. Fine first blood. Flames the first to fall. Now the 3v4 oh. is time to hit that pinch. Fred is only able to find one, and now it's instantly a 2v2. Shotzi and Kenny roaming around this bottom blue area, but there's only 30 seconds left. Eventually, you got to work the objective. And this is still very cautious. Just you have to run pin to this bottom side of underground pit. Kenny gave it a go, tagged up, shot at just a touch. LAG. All of a sudden, though, running out of time here, trying to get the bomb down. Kill comes out for Kenny, but Shotzi can just hold on top of the site. 1v2 situation, first to cross, trigger discipline out. That's going to be enough for the kill. Shotzi may just need to get out of here, but no. Diamond Khan off the chase, finds the kill, secures the round. The trigger discipline was on point, but I would have loved to sh if Shotzi just waited two or three more seconds. It takes a total of five seconds for that bomb to get planted. But once he finds that kill, he tries to work his way on out, but Dominicon in the perfect position. He could have just Sitting waited, at top bro. Even with this team dropping early in the numbers, they're able to clutch up in the 3v4 to go up 2 up. Clean start for LAG, and again, it just feels like one of those moments oh, where the gorillas look prepared. 
even with a couple of opening weirdness from the side of Optic. I mean, Shotzi's really positioned on their first attempt, and the smoke kind of freezes out LAG, but still good isolation, good mid-rounding coming out of LAG to get them started. I feel like recently watching Optic in their search and destroy, they don't really rely on the bomb plant to beat them. They are always trying to play for those kills. Got to try to slow down this game a little bit. As they go back on the attacking shot. Shots he positioning already known, and this is what the Gorillas do so well. They just dominate this B Street, and that basically cuts off the whole map because they're not going to play it at A3. Yeah, absolutely not. And now you've even got Fame taking an extra look through mid. Everything seems to be watched. Dimecon, though, does for the position. Topside propane. Fred, a couple of shots in. May free shots to make a move toward ladder. And that's indeed the case. And ooh, a little bit of extra movement coming out, and that's enough to find DC. Good first blood smoke down, though, just for Shotzi to keep his life. 45 seconds still to work with. You have Fred edging his way up through bottom blue. He's able to gain info onto one, but Astrio and Flames, they are already a stroke. That's 2v2 now. With 35 seconds left, just going to play the buddy system. That's also bombed down, though for the side of Optics. So recovery has to come through. Fred taking the long route around the back, but Gorillas, whoa, this is not going to be predicted. I don't know if Shotzi has seen all of this. Fame with a catch out Fred. 20 seconds on the clock, trade from Shotzi. Needs to get the bomb though. Down and up, he's got plenty of time to make this play happen, but still lots of questions on where Flames is. Yeah, 1v1 versus the rookie. Flames trying to make the play for his team to potentially go up 3 up, but that bomb is already down and Shotzi has worked his way on out. Great movement, but 66 HP, Flames gets the info. Shotzi though repositions, back to safety off the regen. Where has Flames gone? Both players staying super patient. Onus though on the Flames, he has to make the first move. And Shotzi's just calling out his bluff saying, come to me young one. And that may work out. Flames, here he goes on the move. Still has no idea where Shotzi's position falls off the high ground. And Shotzi yeah. finds the win from backside tower. He's just so hard to keep track of. You spot him working his way through bottom red. You're probably still thinking he's either on our spawn or through the underground. But he jumps his way back into the site. Plays the corner beautifully. And catches the timing onto Flames. Finally secures one on the board right there for Optic. They find the first button. Finally, they find some success. Yeah. Wow, what a 1v2. And that was seconds away from not even being possible just yeah. because of where the bomb was dropped at. So good recovery from Optic. But still, LAG finding this opening success. Now in a couple of rounds in a row. Smoke down deep. That's smoke from Shotzi, actually. So that's just to cover the rotation. Shotzi can use that as a chance to get up top, and he finds fame, but it's an even battle. Both players still survive, though. Yeah, they made the adjustments this time to try to isolate onto Shotzi. Fred strikes for that first blood, but instantly traded. So already the Gorillas dominating over towards the B Street, but he's got both the arrows trying to contest. Shotzi wants that one back. Fame gets the better of him. Man advantage Gorillas. Dashi's also been tagged, alerting all of this LAG offense, but Dashi cleanly able to get one. Kenny watching his cross, doesn't need to help though. Dashi almost able to find all three. Nice, but Kenny right there to pick up on the trade, and it's a quick second round for Optic. That's good plays right there from Optic to not get on that B Street control. Fred strikes for the first blood, but then you had both the arrows instantly fill that gap. Dashi finds that first kill. He was also at the same time able to spot Fame towards top heli. I thought Fame would have gotten the call out that Dashi playing that in the elevator. You can potentially find that kill, but once he finds that double, last player tries to play for that trade, and the crossfire is even better Come for Optic Texas. So two rounds in a row for Optic. Who's got something weird up their sleeves now? Kind of feels like there very well may be something left in the tank in LAG. Not going to give away much information off this opening. They're going to send their defense down through the underground here. At least Astriel's going to make his play down that direction. Fame also playing aggressively with an SMG over towards the front side at A, and he may be alerted that Optic is playing up close. Kenny, the first one to drop. Nate also tags. Fame trying to find what was Shotzi through the smoke, but Optic still retained the last three members. So down to 3v4. Bomb sitting at towards top heli. You have a route There's being hit out of Fred at the same time the Gorillas are taking the ground away from them. They find the oh. first, but Shotzi finds a double. Now you just got to try to stay alive for Fred to make a play, but he was one shot. Now it's all up to Fred in a 1v2. Tons of time remaining, though. The problem is, it looks like the Gorillas know the bomb's down. Yeah, they're just playing a crossfire setup here. Flames watching. Estriel's back. Estriel doing the same for Flames. So Fred would have to smoke one and then instantly be aware of the possibility of a trade. Omno collected, so maybe LIG didn't know that it was down front side blue, and Fred make it away with a plan here. And planning it at A. So many different angles you have to attack, but the Gorillas with the time here are gonna apply that pressure at the right time. Ooh. Isolate on to Fred, secure way, the round to take back the advantage up 3-2. 
If you are Optic Texas, if you could have just slowed down that play a little bit, allow Pret to work that deep pinch so he can be the opening player instead of Shotzi having to find a double. It's just tough when Kenny's the first player to drop with that smoke and everything getting invested. It was like a 2-2 split yeah. across the map. And I think the thing is, Optic have now, on both sides of the bomb, showed that they're trying to play with a little bit of extra force yeah. towards the A side of the map. And that's not easy to do, Adam. No. Because you see all the different angles that you can watch that A by bomb site from. Top heli, back spawn, even underground through bottom blue, even top propane. There's just so many different angles around that A side. It's not going to be very easy to work that objective. So if you are Optic Texas, the offensive game plan has to be a little bit different. You probably yeah. want to at least throw that smoke grenade through mid and try to dominate that B street. Yeah, I think that's probably the interesting thing because like you mentioned from rounds ago, that's what LAG love to do. Yes. They're all about controlling B street. So maybe Optic are coming into this with the chess game of, hey, let them have it, we'll play from A. But it doesn't really feel like it's working, at least not as of yet. So we'll see if that decides to change. Three man hit here for the defensive setup for Optic with a trophy down towards the pit. 1v1 outside towards the balance. He's dining con in trouble, but that's has got his back. A dashy with the first one to drop. Yeah. Dashy would have not liked to be the first one to drop. He was hoping that Zenith could assist him to release an early trade, but Fred is able to strike. Oh. Khan finds two, trying to make it three. Runs out of ammo, whips out the Renetti. And he gets it done over towards B Street. Hey, here's a free three piece. DC loves himself a little bit of B side control. Here's and he's able to get piece. it done right there for the gorillas. And DC's been loving himself on land too. He's yeah. got a 1.15 and search and destroy three, just on land. Three, three piece. Showing it here. Eight and three with the triple to finish off the round. One more look at it. Takes down Shotzi three, three on the cross. Does. Expectations on Pred after the trade. And then just enough damage oh, to be ready boy. to finish off the third and final. And that's every defensive round right now for Optic, where they are losing the round due to kills. They're not even allowing that bomb to go down to try to retake the site. They're playing early on for these gunfights. It's just simply not working out. So the Gorilla's starting to pull away. Up by two rounds. Back to the defensive side they go. And then now relying on Shotzi to make another individual play on the overextension. So it looks like he's not going to go first, though. Lots of focus for Pret trying to make his way down B alley, but Estro goes unchecked through mid, and that's another free first blood. No chance for a trade anywhere. Long range shots has Kenny in trouble, but Dashi saves a life, and we get to a 3v3. Now that it turns into a 3v3, this is the opportunity where Shotzi can make the play. He's already worked this hop up. Now finds himself in a cruise position, just crawling his way through these underground windows, not trying to get spotted, but got to try to work this objective if you're off. Yeah, that's the thing is LAG are probably pretty happy to stay back here, but now Shotzi pops up, makes his presence Bloody, felt, but what you good trades from for? LAG again. Oh, come so now, on, plays. man. Kenny, 1v1 situation. Kenny's what are you get the fucking plan. going to his body for, his favor. Bro. But there are going to be questions on where Flames is. Good shots, good tags. This will slow Flames down just a touch as Kenny just tries to see if he's made the move um. towards mid. He's trying to trap him in towards the backside, rely on this gunfight. Again, puts down shots onto Flame, just keeping him at bay. Load. With only 30 seconds left, eventually Flame <laughs> has to commit to the gunfight, but yeah. Kenny just keeps on backing him down. Well, the regen will be in. One more chance for Flames to get out of the windows. Kenny continues to pelt him with bullets up and over. No Ooh. chance. I mean, Flames could even pull the trigger. Never even had a look at him. Yeah, he used to no chance to this. Now two will be ones that Flame has lost so far in this match. But Kenny no sweat like off the brow. You gain the input as like that bomb goes right. down. You kept on peppering yeah, flames to not allow him to work out of that base. But Dashi, unfortunately, taking the play out of Clayster's book. Jumps off the map. Gives that kill to DC. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And it still leads to a round where for Optic. Think about it is, we still have to ask the question, what are we going to get out of this Optic defense? Because it literally has not led to any plants anywhere for LAG. It's just all been off of kills. So do you slow things down? It looks like that's going to be the case here. Kenny just watching mid, but Fred, a lot of nades thrown through BL, and he's going to step a little bit more aggressively. LAG are prepared for this, though. DC is just holding this angle while the rest of the force looks over towards the A side of the map. Yeah, they realize all the attacks that were getting invested over towards this B sheet, they had to be getting aggressive. So he already backs his way up to spawn, but Fred. In a crucial position to just single-handedly shut down this B Street, and the rest of his team is dominating over towards B. This is not going to be an easy round for the yeah. Rose if they don't find an opening kill. All right, Dominicon cooks up a frag, trying to throw it deep towards B. So they have no idea what's over here, oh. but doesn't make a difference. Dashi just overwhelmed too many numbers to deal with. Shotzi up and over, able to find one, and then Fred's position does pay off. So now we've got ourselves a 3v2 the other direction. Bomb down for LAG. Now, if you are optic, you have the numbers. Let's just put ourselves in a trade scenario. Only 30 seconds left. The only way we lose is if the Gorillas successfully find all three or work yeah. that objective bomb. Now that time is continuously getting away from them. Only 20 to go. Shotzi playing deep. Kenny on top of propane. 
Shots are out. Information now known. Fame is going to have to make a play here. And he may actually find a little bit of timing, but no. Instead, Pred deeper over towards the LAG side of the map finds one. Flames now stuck top heli, and here comes the full force of Optic. And yep, the arena can feel it. Time is going to expire on the play, plus the kill comes through. Optic able to get us back to a 4-4 tie. Yeah, that's beautiful plays right there from Optic to change their defensive look. Not invest that smoke grenade to allow Shotzi to yep. take top helipad. They dominated over towards the B Street. Back down the gorillas with those tacks, and then even with Dashie getting first blooded, with all those players on that side of the map, they were instantly able to trade and then put themselves in the number as advantage. So Optic Texas only need two rounds away to not tie Boston Breach for the worst s and <laughs> record in CDL history. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not with this caliber of no, players. No, no, not at all. 11 and 6 of Shotzi. Heck of a map from him, and one of the main reasons for Optic's round wins at this particular moment. A little bit of a setup here as Shotzi quick smoke right through mid. Trying to go up and over, seeing if he can find anyone on the B site, but he does get stunned. LAG still with that heavy focus over towards the B side of the map, have stopped Optic through mid at the moment. And Shotzi's trying to go for that jump up again to see if he's able to spot anyone over towards B Street, but they're at least gaining the info, and at yeah. least a Dashie dropping first. Already the Gorillas dominating over towards that B Street side, now with the man advantage of 55 seconds to work with. At least Pret finds one to even up the numbers. But does Optic on this push through underground know what the setup looked like on top of the B site? Shotzi's gonna take the long underground route. Caddy off map, able to find Estriel. That opens things up a lot and it forces Fame to have to come back over towards the B side of the map. The timing is perfect. Flames once again in a clutch position, but this time a 1v3. Has eyes on one, but the shots from behind push him off the nice. angle and the kill is there. Nice! Got map point. It's another round where Dashi gets first blood, but Optic take their time in 3v4. This is what got the job done for them to be champions at the end of Major 3. They just always had those icy <laughs> moments in S&D. That's how weak it was. And when everyone great. tends to slow the game down a little on, bit, bro. Fred strikes first, then you send in Shotzi on a deep pinch. But Penny winning that one-on-one -on -one in towards the B-side versus Estriel was everything yep. you needed to walk away with the round win. Because it really did feel like Optic may not have had a really yeah. good look at what LAG's setup was over the top of the site. So a quick collection of information. Leads to quick kills, and with that now, 5-4. Pred on four in a row. Shotzi to 12-6, and six. and LAG needs something here. It has been all optic in the last couple of rounds, and Shotzi once again. Did he get freed up to play up top? Decent damage over towards Fame, and Flames gets caught running up the stairs. First blood for optic. Now you don't have to do anything if you are optic. You already have the man advantage. You're also able to find the second kill at the same time. So they're dominating BC. You have Shotzi working his pitch. Optic might break it right here. LAG gonna get congested. Fame falls out. Ring and that's real also. Nice, they actually and want a fucking SD, bro. Thank it's goodness, bro. Thank goodness. So, you know what I mean? That's it. Where Optic are one of the best teams, if not the best team on the attack. And they are also one of the best teams on the defensive side of not allowing the second We have game three, Optic versus LAG, man. Game three, Optic is up 2 low. Let's fucking get it, Optic. Let's fucking go, man. Compared to the league average, their ability to stay in line with the kill in the slaying department has been really, really strong for them. Especially concerned that this map can snowball out of control very, very quickly. So Optic will get the opening offense. Kenny opening eyes towards A, waiting for names to come to the top for the Gorillas. And he at least gets some sort of a look over towards Flames on the top, but it's Shotzi who kicks this off top third. Shotzi already being a nuisance. Just jumping everywhere around the map. They find the initial kill, two kills. Shotzi already trying to play for spawners as that segment. Slowly but surely working his way up at A. This is what Optic do so well on a yeah. map like Karachi. They just keep the game scattered, keep it very hectic. Diamond Con taking down that mid. Shotzi, okay. 3-0 start for him. Just off to another really hot respawn already. First tick lock, but Optic hopping off the point. They're trying to make their move over towards B. Yeah, they're trying to transition over towards B, and I love the isolation onto the player in flames. So now you can give yourself that opportunity to get those close red spawns if you can find these next wave of kills. But Fame and Estriel hold it down over towards red. So you shut down that initial push, and now you're going to force Optic Texas to work over towards A now. Clock keeps on ticking here. Lots of routes being hit. Shotzi deep. Pred making sure that at least the front side of Junk is good. But still, 45 seconds on the clock here, and Optic can't find a way to stay on the A zone while they continue to try to play for this push over towards B. It's almost getting a little bit too cute. Red cut down at red, and how about the girls? They even up the life count, and now they've got some map control. And now with only 30 seconds left, you only have one segment here at A. You're getting those spawns over towards Coop's side, so you can't work over, at least show presence around that B point. You have to win a couple difficult gunfights, knock them out of these power positions towards top three. Stack here, boys. Now with only 20 seconds left, you have to make this one count if you're Optic. 
Lots of stress here for this offensive push. Fame trying to get over towards Bridge. Able to see Dashy topside. Just cannot find a connection to get the kill. Fred, even through apartments. How about this? This will lead to an opportunity to get the second and maybe even the third tick in lock. Estrell was thinking about it, but he's lost all support. And this may be the extra 60 with Fred already putting a little bit of rotational pressure towards B. Yeah, Fred's going to put himself in the right position to find that kill. The time is now going to be extended. Fred already being a nuisance in towards the cafe. Cannot close out that kill. He's able to find it eventually with the gun switch, but... Now it's Shotzi trying to make a play for his teammates to get those close red spawns. This is the opportunity for Optic. Fame trying to cut off over through red, but the clock stops at 105. Shotzi out the back door, no worries there. If to take down another competitor. So now it's just down to DC. The only player that could really put together much of an offensive pressure for LAG. He will drop Fred, also cuts off the rotation for mid. And now for Gorillas, they got to come over the jump ball. And there's no way they go over cleanly. Three members on, the full stack is in, and the Gorillas will not have a chance to touch the zone again. And that's his optic, Texas finessing around the this map. optic we know, man. We knew that before this, this fucking match, chance, the they series come started. Fucking swing Looking at the latest fucking the match. SMGs needed to play well. And it was Fred and Shotzi who got it done all throughout that round number one. To take the first, and now all momentum on, on optic side. You gain all six segments. You outslay them in that very first round as well. Now you're just going back to the defenses where you've got to make the game a lot more difficult for the yeah. Gorillas. Make sure we're pushing out towards red, spawning them as far as way at that B point because you don't want to give that one up. And we saw the kind of blip at the beginning of the cinematic fly through. Dashy has been great in control for this optic team. Maybe it comes by way of the ARs just locking down these lanes. LAG, no funny business here. Straight over towards the A point. Diamond's kind of watching over towards mid, but it is Dashy. Hey. First one onto fame, and Tam is right. I mean, he got melted. That guy shoots like that, man. And he's shooting like that. It's going to be a very difficult gunfight every single time he has a gunfight. Chow. But already Shotzi finding himself on five in a row. Hits the belly flop. Maybe able to get on out. At least the first segment being completed here for the Gorillas. A lot of map control as well to work with. And DC on three. Yeah, Flames DC. That is a 2v4 essentially. Give him credit for it. Locking down the kills plus also the second ticket A. Third likely going to be conceded. And Fame, who just kind of holds his life over towards Junk, will catch one of the Optic members trying to take control of the top side of the map. So now LAG will have close spawns, and they're already making moves over towards Red. Fame still holding back this Optic defense, who just has to sit and receive this hit. Yeah, this is all Fame needs to do. If you can find a kill, even oh. better. But he is going to lose that gunfight. And at the same time, Shotzi's able to find a double. So Optic take the map control right on back. The Gorilla spawns are going to be so damn deep from this B point that you have to start to work this over extension unless you find that kill on Tadashi. The team fires are good enough to now potentially get you those close red spawns. Yeah, but Shotzi and Fred just kind of floating in through mid. They find individual kills of their own. So now red control goes the way of Optic. LAG forced to have to hit this essentially just from the front doors. Not going to feel super comfortable. Fame the first one into the fray, and he's able to find Kenny pretty cleanly. So a chance maybe even burst through this. Shotzi's working on a long route, but LAG continue to find kills from the front. They're actually trying to hold the line. He's only able to find one. So Kenny steps Number up. Number six spawns right there. Hit a bit scattered. Number oh, six spawns right, right there. Junk spawn right in front of what the fuck? The guard. So you're able to eliminate the player working on the pitch, but now you're relying on the rest of Optic Texas to nice. try to break through the front. They're able to find three. Spawn, Last man. player alive is going to be DC. Oh. Putting out shots, but not able to find success. 17 to 16 in lives remaining. Opt to take the lead right on back. Plenty of time here for the Gorillas. Still with a couple of close spawns. They're trying to force their way in, but Fred triggered his plan. Ooh, almost finds Flames falling from top single. Not to happen. So now three Gorillas make their way over towards the point. Kenny, gatekeep him from up high. Lots of damage plus the kill on the Flames, but ah, Shotzi, Dashy finding each other in the worst possible way. But the kill is still looking pretty decent. Leaves Fame by himself. Help is on the way, but Kenny's on the pitch, and he can still try to find a way to hit this. Yeah, Kenny's still trying to just put down a couple of shots to pepper them, make it easier for his SMGs to work their way on in. But the Gorillas are trading even better right now. That's three, make it all four dead. Flame finds itself all three in a row, yeah. but was a very quick attacking round for Optic Texas. LAG with the perfect response to tie it up at one. Huge bounce back, and most importantly, it's Flames. That's fun, bro. Who cleans it's up the player on the ass, pitch, dude. and then Shotzi's finds the perfect timing to stop ass, Optic from jumping over the wall. Right Maybe him. a little bit more credit to Fame as well for staying as live as long as he did inside the B point. But I would say in terms of kind of comparing the first two opening offenses, that was pretty clean from Gorillas. Yeah, it was very, very clean. It was thankful the fact that Estrio got that that close spawn to oh, shut down shit. Shotzi on that pinch. Because if Shotzi was able to at least spawn him all the way across the map, you don't get those close red spawns. Yeah. He has pressure from every single angle. And then the Gorillas gonna waste a lot of time to try to think about that objective again. But they clutch up on the attack, all tied up in segments. Slow start again from Optic Texas and those main ARs. Yeah. 
mean, tempo-wise for Dashy, 6 and 8 is fine, but the 5 and 12 for Kenny, not great. It's just been Shotzi and Pred again in these respawns. That keep optic fighting through. That SMG pressure still looking good as Pred gets active over through Fountain. Dashy making sure the flank stays safe as this is just Optic trying to get the damage done over towards A, but that kill may have a transition in mind here for Optic. Oh, uh, they also find that kill onto Junk. So now if you are shot, you just want to be a nuisance over at that B point, force the split, set up out of the gorilla. So put a lot more focus on that side of the map. Second segment about to come in, and now it's Pred search to potentially find a couple kills through top red. But the wall bank good from flames. Yeah, it looks like for LAG, they're gonna concede the majority of this A point. Try to get some forward and control over towards Junk, but not just one, not two, but three members pushing forward. A retreat back over towards the A zone, but Dashi stops fame in his track. Flames thinking about it up top, but not gonna have a chance to challenge. Extra 60 added, 24 plays 25. Oh, and Dashi was just trying to at least play his life for as long as he possibly can. And all the map control in favor of the Gorillas. They are forcing all of Optic Texas to work this overextension. Shasi already finds himself in a good yep. position. If he can find a kill, even better. Ah, but Asher off the spawn, alerted, finds the kill on Shasi. Kenny able to find his sixth skill. Again, it's been a real slow start for him, but that has opened the door over towards B. Estriel, bottom side found. Good for one. Wall bangs are in. Shotzi going to try to rush over to confirm this kill, and he will be able to do so with the help of Dashi. Follow up, though, from LAG. Keeping Optic away from the B zone. Defense still able to get themselves back over the wall and in towards the B point. Maybe this is not going to be easy to hold because you have every single player sitting on the backside of Cafe. Optic Texas will be blessed with those close red spawn if anyone decides to fall. Effective trades coming in from the Gorillas. Now it's on to Shotzi to try to continue to make the play happen. He's dancing with them, not able to find that kill onto Flames. Now, I don't know why Optic Texas aren't getting those close run over towards Red. Yeah. Because they're not really getting now a lot of opportunities to work this deck. They've got Kenny for four I mean, This team is going to be another yeah, dynasty. Very odd. So it slows down this Optic play considerably. And I'm sure even LAG are saying, wait, where are they? <laughs> they should have spawned close. Even Estriel thinking there's someone top Red. Does keep his life though, so can reset the pressure point. Fame, Dynacon also following up, and all of a sudden LAG start to make their play forward, but immediately gets counteracted. DC still on the hunt for trades, able to get the pistol out to take care of Dashi, and now all of a sudden Optic have to regain. Yeah, now if you are Kenny, you just want to slow down this game, allow your teammates to get those close spawns. Now all the reinforcements are going to be in from Optic. They bombard their way through bottom ticket. They're able to trade effectively. Now you just got to work it towards B. Good stuns from Astriel, keeps Optic That's away from the cross, but the kills still allow Optic to get off spawn and still have a look at this. 10 plays 11, 35 seconds of the clock. Fame stepping forward, good damage, able to take care of Dashi. Now back to the pistol, able to find Kenny up top. That's still just down to Shotzi. Last one left, and he's able to finesse a little bit better here with just the one on one. Optics still spawn close, clock stops at 28, seven plays eight. That's a big kill from Flames to find that kill onto Kenny. Now he still has his pitch to start to work on. As Domicon with the nade is able to find one, but it's gonna turn into a 2v2 at the point, 6v6 in live remaining. Flames trying to contest, Dashi hunts him down with the pistol. Fame up top, doesn't like the look of that with the rival nine. Fred, Dashi combining to try to work these kills. Top side of the jump wall, second tick duck, third on the way. You've got just Dashi in the point for now, but he's trying to challenge, and it may be enough. 4v2 situation, just stay down, just stay covered, and get yourself to capture. Fucking and get it done by ticks for all offense so far. And Optic Tech is just he's a little bit more man. icy at the end of these rounds. All they needed was one opportunity, and it was big plays from Kenny to stay alive through top single. Because yeah. when Dashi falls, you have both of the players with those SMG spawning all the way at P3. Kenny has Let's to go, make man. a couple kills count. And even though he's not having it's the best performance in these respawns, he's always having clutch one, moments. Bro. So Optic so Texas now one. at game point. It's just when the structure Tomorrow's needs loose. to happen, it seems like it does. It's just weird to not have that come through from start to finish. It's just only happening right to finish these rounds, at least for now. Kenny up to 11 now overall. Dashi also positive, but it... He's not having the best performance oh, in these three spots. He's always bad, having clutch moments. So Optic Texas now at game point. It's just when the structure needs to happen, it seems like it does. It's just weird to not have that come through from start to finish. It's just only happening right to finish these rounds, at least for now. Kenny oh, up to 11 now overall. Dashi also positive, but it really has been the Fred and Shotzi show. LAG now on their next offensive attempt. Same split right over towards A. Shotzi quick drive around the back. Kills from Fred from the front, but LAG keeps the battle even. And it's already the adjustments coming in from Optic because their first defensive round, they pretty much gave up game for free. Allowed them that two minutes of work with at that objective over towards B. So early on, they're trying to contest this all the way to the very end. The first segment comes in, but you have top three, you have AC control. Flames is trying to track every <laughs> single angle to realize where they are coming from. But it's only a matter of moments before Optic jumped their way on it. And literally, it's just Shotzi who jumps his way on it.
Diamond Con tried to provide some help over the top. Doesn't really work out all that well. Fame, though, bit of an opening here over towards B. And with LAG really spawning up towards Junk, they may have to default to playing for this. But look at Optic. They're already surrounding the play completely, but they need to get these members off the B so quick. You need to do it. You need to do it fast. Hopefully you're able to find a couple kills, at least trade your way on in, but Fame finds a double. You also have a little bit of assistance here from Flame. Now it's going to fall into the hands of Kenny. He also is going to fall. They have to clean for dead. Optic Tech's their spawns are all the way across oh. the map. They might just have to give up this V-point. Well, the thing is, now you got pressure on both zones at the same time. Estriel, his kill allows him to get on for the second take of progress at A. Optic spawning bottom side over towards P4, so they have to just play for the A defense, and Diamond Con steps in. Doesn't quite find the second, so depletion on the third tick comes through, but it's a 19 point 19 just one tick on A needed for LAG. Yeah, two minutes to work with for one segment. One set of kills is all you need, but Optic Tech is already off to a good start as they find three in the feed. And now you're spawning all of the Gorillas so oh, damn yeah. far in the back of their base. Satsi realizes it. He's trying to contest early on or at least assist his teammates. That's already three. He's going to go for the chase because that guy is absolutely one shot. Well, draws the line in the sand, says don't have to force anything. Instead, plays the angle and that works out. Same time, you've got Dashy watching over the middle. LAG are in the blender. 17 plays 10, and the only route for LAG maybe to go all the way back over towards the B side of the map. Yeah, if you are the Gorillas, you got to take your time here. You cannot consistently chow one on one gunfights because you cannot play trades in this scenario. 17 and 9, in lives remaining. They're going to decide now to work that overextension over through red. Credo saying, what took you guys so damn long to work on this side of the map? Finally, he's going to get a little bit of action. Puts down shots, not able to find the first kill. Yeah, Kenny's repositioned to play over towards the fountain side. Dashy still top third. These are big time power positions, and the lives are just down to eight for LAG. Kenny's able to find oh, himself insane. a double. Long route for Fame. This has to find success for LAG because no one else can get on the spot clearly. Fame's been seen. Shots are out for Pred. Finds the kill. Down to a 16 v 5. Pred off the reset. Has Gorillas in front of him, but knows that he can just play the clock and play the lives. No more respawns now for the Gorillas. You have to make it count. You have to be perfect in this scenario. Only 30 seconds to go. One wave of kills is all you need. Just down to the last three lives. Estriel near the point. Steps out. Stops the clock at 25. Dashy up and over. Doesn't find the kill. Wait Hold a on minute. a second. This is still doable for LAG. Shotzi makes his play forward. Finds Estriel in the corner, but Diamond Cut saves a life. It's just that search and destroy, man. They're going to be beating themselves up about it, especially in their best search and destroy all season long in high rise. So defensive rounds need to be locked up, man. especially when you find that first blood. You cannot allow these openings to be around the map because Optic were able to take advantage of it and yep. put themselves in a man advantage, and then you're not really even allowing Optic to think about that objective. They're beating you on kills the same way you were doing it today. Heck of a way to finish off our first day as Blaze is standing by with our post-game interview on the main stage. Thank you so much, Shift and Study. Texas, make some noise for the hometown team. Optic Texas! As they continue to move forward in this tournament, I got prayer with me on the main stage. Prayer, pretty much every event is like a home event for you guys, but this is the home event. You 3-0 LAG on the stage. Talk to me about how you feel and what the atmosphere is like today. I mean, honestly, man, based off the last split, we're nothing without you guys. So, I mean, it feels great to play in front of a crowd, especially you guys, man. So, I appreciate you guys. He appreciates you, Texas. Now, 3-0 against this LAG team. We watched them get top three at the last event and really starting to hit their form. What was the game plan going up against these guys, knowing that they wanted to really come away with this series and take you guys down? I mean, nothing, man. We're at home. We've got to take care of home court. Um, we're, we're, we're so much better than them, honestly. So, we just, that's how we just went in. And it showed there in the series, okay? Now, you know, you guys are our major three champions looking to get that second victory of the year. What do you want these fans to know as you guys get ready to play on Saturday as you're prepping to make it back to a Sunday and get another trophy for the podium? Uh, man, I just want you guys to keep showing up for us, man, because when you guys are like that, it's hard, to, it's hard for us to lose, man. So make sure we keep turning up like that. You heard him, you heard him, Texas. Keep turning up oh. for Optic. That's gonna do it for us on the stage. W -A -G, Chris, man. W -Optic. Congratulations, Optic Texas. Five